In just days, Cincinnati could be one of the biggest cities in the country without an abortion clinic. Nine on your side's John Genovese is live in Mount Auburn, where the Elizabeth Campbell Surgical Center is facing closure. John? This is the largest and now only abortion clinic left in the city. And we're told if things don't get worked out with the state health department, by the end of next week, it will shut down. Now, health officials sent a letter here regarding recent violations involving transfer agreements. This spot has been at the center of pro-life demonstrations. And even today, many are standing outside the gates holding signs and Bibles. Abortion clinics in Ohio are required to have agreements with private hospitals willing to take in patients in the case of of an emergency. A spokesperson here said they did have that agreement with UC Medical Center, but new laws now prevent state hospitals from working with clinics. A short time ago, we spoke with some of those demonstrators outside and one woman who says she's been coming here for prescriptions since she was 13. So many women are the victims of incest, rape, uh, that being terminally ill and having to face the decision of carrying to term a baby that's not going to live. Even if those are the extremes, the fact that they will not have a resource and they'll have to spend their own money to go very far away to get treatment and then to be ostracized. I think abortion is the uh, single most greatest evil in the world today. Um, you know, if we kill our babies, you know, there's just no hope for us. And in the last few minutes, we did receive a statement from Planned Parenthood. It says in part, they submitted their application for an updated transfer agreement to the state health department more than a year ago and have yet to hear back. But in the meantime, again, if nothing changes, this clinic will be closed by the end of next week. And if that happens, the next closest abortion clinic would be located in Dayton. We'll, of course, keep you updated. But for now, reporting live, John Genovese, 9 on your side.